Hello and welcome back to my channel. So you remember a little while ago I found that skip. Well in that skip was this. And I've plugged it all in and I've got it wired up. So if you push the button, it goes up on a screw thing and then it goes down. So I'm either going to make wire strippers or stripper out of it or something to pull windings out. And I think I'm going to go with the winding side. So let's see how I get on and I'll show you. Just a sneak preview, there's the motor, it's very torquey, there it is, there's the control box, I plugged it in, put the mains in, and this button, I found, operates it. And there we go, it goes in, and goes out. Perfect. So, stuck that in there, put a bolt through that aluminium chassis, which I don't, I'm not having high hopes with that at all. I've stuck it in a bit of a uh, re uh, what's it not rebar um, girder, steel girder. There's some holes in here, but I can't do no welding today, so I've stuck it on the edge of that at the bottom of that girder, and I've just put two, which probably will break, and that's going through. So we'll see if that can pull it out. So I'll just set you up. I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view of it this time. And I will stand well back with the trusty controls. Let's get this done. Yeah, the bolt snapped just like I thought. But that's fine. I'm not bothered about that. I'm going to have to get it out of my bench somehow. But that motor has got some serious torque, but it has started to pull the windings out there. So you never know, I'll keep playing and we'll find a solution. So all I've done this time is just stuck that there to bridge the gap. Again, this is only for testing until I know the actual thing works and then I'll figure out a, figure out a way of doing it properly. Let's go. So, it has successfully pulled out a winding, but I can just keep rotating it, keep sticking it in, and see where that gets me. Um, that has slipped out, so we'll go back in. I could always put a bolt for it. I think that would be the better, better option if I've got one to hand. That motor is incredible. And yes, we've pulled windings out. And I've not even broken a sweat. So, not bad. Just to say that motor's got some force. Look at that. It's bent that steel. And I think that's an M10 size. It's crazy. Right, this time I've only put it through like maybe two windings because I think it's asking too much to pull the whole lot out in one go. And there we go, that has just pulled all of that out. And I've not even broken a sweat, and it's obviously new, so I've got to get it refined. But there we go. Let's see if I can get the rest out without a sweat. Right, so here we go, last one to do. Um, this is stainless as well, so it's bent it pretty good. Let's give this a go. All right, I'll just take the tension up. And I'm gonna step back. Go. 
nearly there. Right, there we go. So I've learned quite a lot. I've learned that this motor can take it. It is very powerful. It's a bit hot now, but I was using it for a while. Took a bit of a casualty there, but I'm gonna weld something over that so I'm not that bothered. Um, got all the copper out. I'll cut that off, obviously. And pulled most of it, except for this little bit here, which I just tapped with a hammer and it come out. Didn't break a sweat. And there's the core, which is good. And I found a bit of a rebar, is it? No, not rebar, um, girder, steel girder. So I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna make that. And some chain. That motor has serious, serious torque. That's a stainless, I think, 10 mil bolt, and it bent it. But gonna work on it now. I just thought I'd share this idea because it's brilliant. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you all soon. Thank you.